Hey, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? I got my glasses on, my crazy glasses on. What's up guys, I'm Jason Heidi from the Emulator View coming at you, hey, from the brand new EMU Review slash Heidi House Records facility, studio, all that sort of thing. It's been a, it, it's been a crazy um, last couple of months, uh, if you don't already know. Uh, I'm still wearing these, okay. Anyway, these are excellent glasses. Look at these things, they, uh, they flash, right? Two different speeds and they're instant on, right? All that sort of thing. Got them in green too, hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a crazy busy like two months. The last two months of my life have been ridiculous. Um, if you don't already know, I've, uh, I've relocated, I've been to Portland, then I've been to Seattle for PAX Prime and uh, working a full-time job and keeping up with the EMU review as much as possible and the All-Gen Gamers podcast has been crazy, but hey, I love doing it. So I'm back. What I'm doing in this video is I'm going to show you a little bit of the swag that I got at PAX Prime 2011. It's uh, I got a lot of stuff. I don't have all of it here and I have some duplicates of things that I'm not going to show and you know my space here is only, only so big to uh, put everything so I just wanted to show the stuff that I got. Uh, and then I also have a uh, little mystery unboxing uh, gift that I got from somebody that somebody already knows who they are. They're like, oh, he's going to show it. Oh, it's great. Pretty cool. Really nice people out there. So uh, I got some t-shirts. I got some swag. So I'm just going to briefly kind of go over it uh, and show you guys. So to start out, I guess really uh, I got this from uh, GameSpot. This is a uh, collapsible water bottle. Yeah. Yeah, you can put whatever you want in there, right? Put some of that Kool-Aid, some of that grape drink, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool. Take that with me. You're gonna do that. Um, moving right along, oh, we're gonna get to that in a minute. Okay, um, got some of these Magic the Gathering cards here, card set, uh, all three different ones, which is kind of neat. Um, since these are right here on top, might as well just get them out of the way. <laughs> these are the bracelets for the game deals party. That was freaking bananas up in there. It was crazy. There were so many people. <laughs> uh, I had Poutine up there, Poutine, you know, and uh, Rob Man, a whole AGG crew was there, everyone. And it was such a blast. And then the party got uh, shut down and everyone got kicked out the hotel. Just a, another day. Uh, a packed prime. So here's the wristbands to get in that party. Pretty cool. Uh, On Live was there, of course, and they were giving out some cool stuff. Some of these, um, I think there's some, see, it's just an advertisement, but it has these pins, these cool On Live pins on there, which is pretty cool. So got a few of those. Pretty neat. Love me some On Live. Um, there's a demo disc here of World of Tanks, which uh, they were demoing there on the, um, the floor there. Pretty cool. Game looked cool. Definitely like a, uh, I didn't get to play it or anything, but it did look like, now is this for PC? Maybe this isn't a demo disc. This is soundtrack, video tutorials, wallpapers, screenshots, trailers, logo. Okay, so it's not a demo disc. It's just a promo disc. How about that? World of Tanks. Looks like a pretty cool uh, tank shooter type of a game. Pretty cool. Uh, GOG, good old games. They do old, old DOS games, right? So it's, uh, they go out and, and they, they make these games that work on current generation uh, platforms. And what I mean by that is Windows, right? So Windows Vista, XP, Windows 7, all that sort of thing. So you can play like old ass games like uh, Descent, uh, like they sell Duke 3D there uh, that works. And the cool thing is that you actually buy it and they install the files right there onto your system, uh, which is really cool. So you can always have that and use that in the future, which is real nice. And it's DRM free, pretty cool. So they were handing out these here, it says get huge with GOG.com. So anyway, uh, they're breath mints, by the way, so don't freak out. <laughs> no need to freak, no need to freak. Okay, so I showed you the glasses, we can move these out of the way. What's up, what's up? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, hey, Turtle Beach was there. Turtle Beach was in the house, and it was really crazy because all you had to do is you had to go up you had to sign up, right? You had this, they had this little PC or tablet, whatever. You just sign up, put your email in, fill out the survey. All, all of them had surveys, like Alienware, Turtle Beach. I mean, you name it. They all, they all had surveys you do. And then you just do a raffle, and you either win or you don't, right? And if you don't win, losers get these, which is cool. I mean, I actually had these 
not these, but I had glasses exactly like these uh, in the 80s and 90s growing up. I mean, I think we all did, right? All of us around, around you know, my age, right? This generation, we had these, these were in. So totally dope, but pretty cool. And also, let's see, where is it? Uh, is a tr They gave you these Turtle Beach uh, 80s glasses and then a Turtle Beach uh, dog tag. Pretty cool, has their logo on. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, moving right along here, if you fill out, again, another survey over at the uh, X-Men um, Spider-Man booth, I believe it was, uh, they give you this X-Men disposable camera. Pretty cool, you know, disposable camera. I mean, there was only, you know, I mean, who uses these anymore, right? Well, there are some people, there are some people. I'm not gonna name anybody. A guy named Chris, I mean, I'm not gonna name anybody. <laughs> but pretty cool, I'm gonna keep it sealed because I think uh, it's kind of a special thing. And who knows, maybe 20, 30 years down the road, film will be all, you know, destroyed and deteriorated, but camera definitely will be intact. Pretty cool. X-Men disposable camera. And then moving right along here. Okay, I might as well just get right to it. Why not? Okay, so Battlefield 3 was there, of course. And um, I waited in line. It, it wasn't too long. I mean, you know, I'm not there to wait in line, as you guys know. I'm not there to... I, I, I've played the alpha, and beta's almost here, so uh, I'm gonna definitely be playing that. I already know what I'm getting into, but I waited in line because I heard they were playing it on PS3 co-op. We haven't played the co-op yet, so I wanted to see what that was all about. Plus, the co-op is the single-player uh, campaign, so I wanted to see that a little bit. So I waited in line about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and uh, if you play the game, which I didn't know, they give you these custom-made Battlefield 3 uh, dog tags, which are pretty awesome. And so I have I have some here, and I, I'm wearing the ones that I had made for me, and uh, they say my name. They say Jason Heine. It, you know, the guy wasn't really clear. Like, he just came up to me in line. He came up to all of us in line. Was like, all right, what's your gamer tag? And I go, oh, what, for what platform? Why? What's going on? He goes, it doesn't really matter. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, but I guess I guess just use my name because I was confused. I was like, well. Well, what what platform? What gamer tag? You know, I didn't didn't make sense to me. I thought he was, I was gonna use my like email address, right? I thought he was gonna register something for me or send me an email or something. Because that's what everyone was doing. That's all they wanted was emails, 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 right? So I thought he was wanted my email. He's like, no, just give me gamer tag. I'm like, well, which one? I've got, you know, all these all these gamer tags. So I just used my name, which now I look at it was dumb. I should have used one of my gamer tags, either General Jason for PC or. The E and E review for you know whatever, but anyway, but it's cool. So it has my name on it. Cool dog tags. I got a couple extra here. Um, I was with a bunch of people and we we played some of them there. Uh, my girlfriend got one pretty cool. And then I got um, another one here, still sealed in the little packaging. It didn't even make it, so I'm gonna keep that sealed just to have and collect. Pretty cool. So Battlefield Three in the house. Gave us a few mouse pads. We got this here, World of Tanks. It has uh, combat arms. It's got uh, Eve Online. It has a bunch of cool different things. Uh, but nice, you know, nice little mouse pad there for you to uh, to game on, right? Pretty cool. Um, moving along here, we've got, they gave us a Dead Island uh, little comic. It's like a one, two, three, four page little comic here. Pretty cool. And let's move on to, I wanna put those, oh, I'll do these, okay. Uh, this is from the Alienware booth. These are little, and I feel so stupid because I got these. Okay, out front of the convention, they were handing these out. These are little Alienware cards. You scratch them off, and then you win whatever it says. Well, I scratched them off. I got two lanyards and a pin, an Alienware pin, and I really wanted those because uh, I got an Alienware rig here. You know, I like Alienware, and I just forgot about them. Never went in to redeem them. So anyway, I got the cards. Pretty cool. I got a few other things at Alienware, I guess I'll show right now. This really cool uh, flyer for their um, new line of desktops, which is cool. I saw this and that's my rig. So I was like, oh cool, you know, put that on the wall or something. You know, until it goes outdated next week and then and it's all done, it's all over, downhill from there. Got this from a guy named Chris. Chris was a winner on our All Gen Gamers contest uh, for um, Endless Ocean. We did that quite a while ago. So he gave us this little CD uh, of one of his bands that he played on called Black Pearl. Pretty cool. Haven't checked it out yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, he was there. Uh, he wanted to sign games. He had me sign Donkey Kong Country for Super Nintendo. Real cool. And 
If you listen to our podcast, All Gen Gamers, you'll know that's one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. So, you know, when you when you listen, you know that sort of thing. He brought the game in, I signed it. What a cool guy. So, thanks for this, Chris. And I hope you like all the stuff you, that you uh, you got that day. Pretty cool. Uh, we were at GameWorks the night before, and we were playing uh, Hydro Thunder. But uh, Pete was like, for first place, you were able to get this. And he gave this to me. I don't know if you can see it. This is the uh, Hydro Thunder. It's a flyer for the arcade game there, actually. It says, now playing in an arcade near you. Very cool. And what makes it even more special is on the back, it has Micro Machines 64. Another one of my favorite games on the 64. Real cool. Mr. Pete Doerr got this for me. Pete, thank you so much. He bought it, and he brought it all the way from his home to mine, and I'm going to get it. Uh, I'm torn because I want it on both sides, so I think what I'll do is I'll get it, uh, I'll just get it framed in one of those double-sided, you know, uh, frames, and then, I don't know, hang it from the ceiling or something. I'm not really sure, because I want to display both sides. Very cool. So, Pete, you know, it's awesome. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Very cool. Also, just wrapping this up here, you guys, is I got some t-shirts, some really cool t-shirts from people there. Uh, some from um, booths, uh, and some from people from the community. Very cool. Uh, first thing... Oh, let's do that one last. We're gonna do that one last. And you'll know why when I do it. Okay, so the first shirt I got here uh, is from GameSpot. They were handing out free shirts there. It says, hello, my gamer tag is, and you can write your gamer tag in there. Maybe I won't use my first name or I'll use a real gamer tag now. And Vax says, are you following me? Are you following me? So pretty cool there, GameSpot. Uh, of course, the Alienware booth. This is really cool, I got this too, Alienware bag. I went through that booth a few times because I wanted all the stuff they had. And I actually, I even have an Alienware poster that I don't have here. Um, I'm just realizing I don't have it here. But anyway, uh, Alienware bag, pretty cool. I was using this to carry all my swag in that day. Very cool. Went through the booth again and got an Alienware shirt. Pretty sweet. In the back of it here, it has this really cool design. And what's neat about this design is this is the design that are on all their new uh, desktop cases. So, pretty unique. I like it. Yeah, sure I do. I like it. And then, the, a couple from the community here, H2O Masked Man, he was there and he got me this. Battlefield Bad Company 2 shirt. Very cool. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess he said he got this at a PAX last year, I believe. So, pretty cool. There it is. It's official. I now have a shirt. I know they make uh, several different kinds of these, but very cool to have this one. H2O Masked Man. Thank you so much for getting that for me. I appreciate that, sir. And then, of course, uh, if you guys listen to our podcast, All Gen Gamers with Games Ready One, Happy Console Gamer, and Pete Door, then this will all make sense. Uh, and if you haven't, then I'll, I'll put a link below. Please go check it out if you're interested. And uh, so some of these jokes may make a little sense. All right, so guy by the name of DJ. Hi, DJ. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, goodness, here we go. So um, he also goes by the name Casico online, right? So he he showed up. I showed up there, and, and he was there, and he's wearing this shirt. And it says, look at this guy. It's got my name down there on the bottom left, if you can see it. Basically, what this is is, you know, it's funny. Just the things that I say on a normal basis, uh, the things that I just naturally come out of me end up being something funny, right? So, uh, I say, look at this guy all the time when John, Gamester81, he always has these like punchlines, these one-liners, and they're just so funny. Funny or stupid or both, they're great. And I would just say, look at this guy, you know? Just, that's just what I say. And it's just kind of become a little joke, a little funny thing, and people have taken to it. So, DJ custom made this shirt. Look at this guy. Very cool, DJ. Uh, definitely, I appreciate the time you put into doing that. That's hilarious. Good stuff. Also got some Smarties. These are from Canada. They're not the Smarties you need here in the United States. Uh, the Smarties here in the U.S. are not like this at all. These are kind of like, I mean, they're made by Nestle. So, I mean, they're kind of like M&Ms, but they're not. They're a little bit bigger. They're uh, a little bit harder. And they have, I think it's like dark chocolate or something, because it's a completely different taste. But they're great. Uh, this is all I have left, people. That's all I got. Uh, we got a whole bunch of these, but this is all I have left. So, um... Thanks again for, for bringing that. So thanks again, DJ, for the shirt. That leads me into the unboxing here. And first of all, 
I'm going to say that DJ made the shirt. DJ also bought these. He found these. I think at a Goodwill, I believe he said, and bought these for me. What these are? These are uh, a few Duke Nukem CD, Duke Nukem 3D CDs. Ooh, wow! Say that ten times fast, right? Uh, what it is is it's Duke Nukem. Duke it out in DC. This is a mod for Duke Nukem 3D. It has it's basically uh, a, a completely new game, like a new story mode, new mission, right? Has new weapons, this and that. Very cool. I have not played this before. I've played a few. There's an island mod I've played and some other mod, but I have not played this one yet. And this was released back in the day. He found this, bought it. Pretty cool. The disc is in mint condition and it's complete. Very cool. DJ, thank you. He also found at the same place, I believe, Nuke It 1000. Okay, this is unique. This is really rare to find. What these are is these are 1000 user made maps. These are from not even from 3D Realms or anyone affiliated with Duke. These are like people like you and I making maps. And then they released it, right? They compiled it and released it on a CD and then we're selling them uh, back in 1996. The disc is mint. Looks like it's never even been played. Very cool. And I'm looking for a specific map. It's like an apartment or a home. I don't remember what it's called. I can almost guarantee you it's on here and I'm going to be happy to find that. So, heck, if we ever do some Duke 3D online, which I do still play, we can, uh, you know, send these maps out to everyone and complain. So, DJ, thanks again for sending that to me. All right, on to the unboxing here. And I'm going to move this out of the way. And I will say that this is also from DJ. He got this up in Canada. Of course, EB Games in Canada. And he, he got this and he brought it down all the way down to PAX to give it to me along with all this other stuff. And that's just what I'm saying. Some of these people are just so nice and so genuine. You know, just really makes you just be so thankful that, you know, part of this really great community. All right. Hopefully it made it. Oh, good. They did. They wrapped it a little bit there. Okay. Just throw that right on the ground. Oh boy, you can already tell, Duke Nukem forever here. What is this? What is this? Yeah, you guessed it. This is the Duke Nukem Forever cardboard square display that they display up there uh, at EB Games, GameStop in the States. And he got this for me and said, I would like to give it to you. I will bring it to PAX. And I am just so thrilled that he did. Look at this. Pretty awesome. Of course, I'm a big Duke fan, you know, so he found some cool Duke uh, items for me. But this is great. I've never had an actual uh, upright display like this uh, in this form. This is really cool. I don't know if they were hanging these from the ceiling or what they were doing. This, is, this takes up a lot of real estate, so I can't imagine them putting it on the counter, but they may have. So, DJ Casco, again, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who came out to PAX Prime. It was an amazing event. Got tons of lanyards and dog tags and all kinds of stuff. You guys, look, if you're going to do any trip, go to PAX Prime in 2012. So, thanks again, you guys, for hanging out with me. I'm Jason Hattie from the Emulator Review. Duke and I are going to go kick it with our... Uh, with our 1,000 new maps we can play in. So, you guys, take care.